Hey everybody, my name is Sunny. I love the month of October. Not only is it the month of my birthday, it is also Halloween. So this week, I have decided to somehow morph these two awesome occasions into one DIY project and teach you guys how to make this crown and top hat party hat that doubles as a Halloween costume idea. So whether you want to be treated like a princess on your birthday or dress up as a sir on Halloween, this is the DIY project for you. Let's get started. For the top hat, you will need empty toilet paper rolls, a piece of cardboard, black acrylic paint, and Velcro rollers, glue stick, hot glue gun, scissors, and X-Acto knife. To make the crown, you will need empty toilet paper rolls, a skinny headband, sharpies, gold acrylic paint, paintbrush, ruler, string, pencils, and scissors. Let's start with the top hat. To make the rim on a piece of cardboard, draw a circle that's approximately two and a half times the diameter of the toilet paper roll. You can use a compass if you have one. Then place your toilet paper roll at the approximate center of the circle and trace the base. Divide up the circle into wedges and cut up the lines with the X-Acto knife. Please be careful when using an X-Acto knife and ask for your parents' help if needed. Bend up the triangle and we are going to glue them to the toilet paper roll to form the basic shape of the top hat. Next, we're going to paint the whole thing black because top hats are black. Remember to paint the inside of the toilet paper roll and the both sides of the rim. I really don't like having to tie a ribbon around my face to wear normal party hats, so I thought of a simple trick to solve the issue, and that's to use Velcro. Take your Velcro roller and separate out the Velcro part. Then with a hot glue gun, Glue it onto the bottom of the hat rim. Trim off the excess so it's discreet. And there you have your top hat. A crown is a must for any princesses or queens. To cut out evenly sized peaks for your crown, first, we're going to measure the circumference of the toilet paper roll. An easy trick is to use a piece of string and wrap it around the roll. Then measure the length of the string. My toilet paper roll measures approximately 16 centimeters. You want to divide the circumference by a number no smaller than 4. I divide it by 4, which means my crown will have 4 peaks. Make a mark 2 thirds of the way from the top. Then draw a point every 4 centimeters. This is not science, so nothing has to be exact. Then make a mark at the top of the roll, midway between the two dots, indicating where the peaks should be. Lastly, use the dots as a guide to cut out the peaks of the crown. Next, poke two holes on the opposite end of each other at the bottom of the roll. It should be big enough so that your headband can fit through it snugly. Then paint the whole thing gold with your gold paint. Remember to paint the inside as well. The last step is to decorate it. I added a few details with my sharpie and thread it back onto the headband and you are all done. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe for new DIY videos every Thursday and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!